What's up everybody, VR Gamer Dude here, and today I am super excited. So today we are finally cutting that cord, man, and we are going wireless on my Oculus Rift, all thanks to the guys over at TPCast. So I really want to thank those guys for sending this out. It has made a huge difference in the amount of immersion I am getting out of my Rift lately, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So right now, I'm not gonna do an unboxing. I couldn't wait. I, the minute I got it, I had to get it all set up. But we're gonna take a look at what's in the box and then we'll uh, go downstairs, get it set up and head into some gameplay. So, all right, what's in the box? Well, quite a few things. Um, you've got a router, you've got a transmitter, you've got a battery, you've got this belt thing. Uh, you, you've got this uh, battery box and then the final piece of the puzzle you've got the receiver for the oculus rift put them all together you have no wires you're in a wireless rift and it is awesome so all right let's run downstairs let's get this all hooked back up and uh, we'll jump into some gameplay and i'll show you just how awesome it is Okay, so now we're downstairs. This is my main play area and we're gonna get everything set up. So I've already set up the bigger pieces like the wireless transmitter and the TPCast router. I also installed a USB to ethernet adapter so that I could get a second ethernet port into the computer. If you don't have one, you're definitely going to wanna to install either a ethernet card or a USB to ethernet adapter works just fine. So, all right, now that all the hardware is installed, let's get the Rift set up and get into some gameplay. So, in order to set the Rift up, we've got a couple of other different components that we need to install here. So, we need to install the receiver, we've got the battery box, we've got the cable that connects it all together, the battery, the battery belt. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and install the cable. Now, you'll notice that does have the proprietary Oculus Rift end. So it's, it's got the right curvature, just like the default cable. So bam, just snaps right into place. Now, what's a little different here is, is the thickness of this part right here. So you've got four cables instead of just your single cable on the Oculus Rift. So you're gonna kinda wanna get those bundled nice together there. I did actually break my clip the first night that I was installing this, but luckily my good friend Kay you guys know him as Reality Check VR. Um, ironically, had sent me a little care package from Pro Gear VR, and uh, lo and behold, some uh, very strong 3D printed cable clips were in the box. So, thank you, brother. Couldn't have come at a better time. So, all right, let's go ahead and get that clipped on there. And. There we go, get that clipped into place. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we're gonna wanna install the uh, TPCast receiver. Now, one thing I learned first couple of nights on doing this, you really kinda wanna know where your Velcro mark is before installing this, uh, cause it's kind of a pain in the butt to adjust once this is on your head. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and just thread that right through these two holes here here and then we will pull it back up through the little clip in the rift and uh, see where it becomes kind of a pain in the butt here is trying to slide it back through so you want to kind of clamp it down to the velcro slide it and work your fingers in here unclamp it and then kind of pull it to your preferred position and I know my is right about there and there you go now that is um, securely in place so now all we've got to do is just plug in the USB and uh, HDMI cords here and boom Rift is done set up the battery box and a little bit of power there and last but not least, plug in the battery. 
boom boom we've got red lights in the back we've got uh, blue lights in the front so that is good i see a blinking green light on the receiver and yes I don't know if you can see it in there i see an orange light in the rift so everything powered up just as it was expected uh, we'll go ahead and pop our facial interface back in now got to be a little careful on mine i've got my widmo lenses in there uh, but I'm using a VR cover facial interface, so kind of got a little mesh of the two going. Um, and it doesn't totally clip into place, but it's it's sturdy once you get it in there. Okay, so got that. Make a little adjustment here. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and install the uh, open, uh, I'm sorry, the, the TPCast software. I almost said open TPCast, and we'll get into that here in a little bit. Uh, but we want to go ahead and install the TPCast software. Now, they just recently had an update last week that tremendously fixed uh, quite a few issues that they were having with their version 2 software. When I originally got the unit, the first couple of nights I was on the version 2, and I can tell you, yeah, there was some, you know, tracking issues. I had one instance where the whole world kind of seemed to shift for a second. Um, since I've gotten the new software, everything seems to be working just fine, except for one thing. Still no microphone support. So, you know, TPCast, I reached out to them. I got on a call with those guys, and they were like, hey... You know, we, we understand that's a very important thing, uh, especially to people like me. I use the, the Riffs mic for recording in my videos. Uh, they, they are working on it and it should be out in the next release. It, it should be in there. So the next release of the TPCast software, we are finally gonna get mic support in the Rift. So thank you TPCast for that. So, all right, let's go ahead and get that software installed, started, and let's jump into some games without a leash. Okay, so before we can get started, the last piece of the puzzle, we need to install the TPCast software. So you basically just want to go up here to tpcastvr.com forward slash support and uh, scroll down and find the device that you are using. Now, obviously for me, I am using the Oculus Rift. I have already downloaded the software and installed it. So fast forward and start. And it's going to detect all the different pieces for us and connect them together. Last piece of the puzzle. Yes, there we go. So now we can start Steam VR. We can start Oculus. So let's go ahead and start Oculus and eh, let's just go to my house for a minute. Okay, here it is. We are unchained, guys. We are totally untethered from the PC. And man, let me tell you, this is nuts. I, I mean, this is absolutely nuts. With the new version of TPCast software, everything finally has just clicked into place and the thing is working and it's working really well. Except for the fact that I have no mic, so I do apologize for the crappy audio in this section of the video. Um, there, there's just nothing I can do about that um, other than, well, you know, as I kind of alluded to earlier, switching to the open TPCast software. Um, you know, the guys at, at TPCast assure me that the mic is coming, and I gotta tell you, I don't know Open TPCast. I mean, I've seen my friend Caleb did a video where he added Open TPCast to his. Uh, I know my friend Mike VR Oasis has done a video where he added Open TPCast to his. Um, I, I don't know if it makes the experience better, but right now, let me tell you, on their new, uh, their, their newest software release, this is absolutely blowing my mind. I mean, the tracking is freaking perfect. So anyway, enough about that. Um, anyway, I guess while we're here, give you a little quick tour of the place. So, um, and uh, collecting some goodies as I've played. And uh, oh yeah, got my golden trophies there. So thank you Oculus for doing that. That's really cool. Now where's my DK1? Because I did actually buy a DK1 from you guys and I didn't get a trophy and I'm kind of pissed. So anyway, haha, just kidding. 
Okay, um, here we are. We are in a real game. So let's see how the TB cast handles it. Now, I, I just figured I'm going to jump into Fallout 4. I've actually been playing this a lot lately, um, ever since the patch came out last week that finally gave it full Oculus support. So thank you, Bethesda, for doing what you should have done in the beginning. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Fallout 4, we're not here to talk about Bethesda, we're here to talk about the TP cast and is it worth it for wireless Oculus Rift gaming. And so far, guys, I gotta tell you, my answer with the new software running on here is yes. Um, I absolutely love this. I, I mean, it, it just makes you feel so much more in the world when you don't feel the weight of that cord keeping you tethered man so i don't know is it worth it for everyone yeah that's that's up to each individual you know it, it it's it is expensive i'm not gonna lie even with the sale price i think it's like 299 until may 15th um you know, that, that's still a hefty chunk of change. I mean, especially when the whole Rift costs like three ninety nine. you know. So, yes, it is Gen 1. It is early adopter. And they do have a new unit coming out here pretty soon, the, uh, the TVCast Plus. So, all sorts of questions there. But, man, if you have the means and you want to break the chain from your PC to your headset... I gotta tell you, this is nuts. I highly, highly dig this. I mean, this is just amazing. Being able to walk around and just turn circles. And I mean, uh, it's awesome. So, you know, I think we're gonna go ahead and cap this here. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I love it. TPCast, guys, thank you so much for sending this out. I, I will put it to good use, and, and uh, you've opened my eyes. I mean, you, you've taken me one step closer into the Matrix, and for that, I truly thank you. But for me, guys, that's it. I'm out. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.